Okay, this is Skyhawk. Here we are um, at the close to the end of September of 2021, and just a, a quick tour of, of the boat. We have these lifts that we use to to paint the bottom, so we can lift the lift the boat up off the trailer and remove the trailer. So we have a new bottom paint to it. This uh, this stripe to show you some of the negative things too. This stripe here has a uh, the, the taping on it, the boat was painted and the taping on it is starting to come off a little bit there. But otherwise the the boat has being painted and uh, the first time it was coated it uh, they didn't do a good enough job so you can see kind of a two color on the on the bow of the boat. The, uh, what happened is we went and raced it and this the bow stickers pulled the paint job off. So that um, you might notice that. Um, otherwise, here she is. And it's, it is a 1983 boat, hull number 250. Does have a new bottom on it. Um, you can see a little bit of the keel resting on the trailer there. Uh, we've kept it in pretty good shape. We have had the boat surveyed and there's two spots that the surveyor felt um, on the bottom two one foot squares that tapped out. He thought maybe a little questionable. I'll see if I can duplicate that. Be able to hear, but there's this area solid, and then a little bit here. That was one looking forward, so that was that. Two feet behind the keel, though. But otherwise, um, and I feel like that we've known that for a long time and have not really felt it was worth doing anything. There's really no crazing going on in those areas. Then here you can see on the back port side um, some damage to the tow rail. Uh, it's a memorable one by Banshee, a boat that's now in Nashville. And then this one was a Capri 25, which I repaired in my gel coat. Um, job was not very matching of the color. So anyways, let's go up and inside. It was full of leaves. I cleaned the leaves out. clean. Just have the battery charger but there's the head. It's a it's a little larger head is kind of set up for cruising a little bit. And the battery is out for charging. This is a our instrument panel. Put some different switches in for the autopilot and the steaming light and compass light there. This bulkhead, people have been worried about. We've had no problems with that yet. And here's the rudder. And that's 
in really good shape. I don't know, just a look underneath, there's not much to see here. But we try to keep everything clean and dry underneath. But it is a boat. Yeah, and you can see the mainsail on the boom. Has a cabinetry. There's a spinnaker, another spinnaker. Then we have these um, hammock like things to store stuff on, which is really handy. The boom and mast were painted recently. Up in the bow. Um, I just have the cushions up so I could get underneath. Show you underneath the boat. Here. Underneath the front hatch here. So that's where we have the instruments. We have that water tank. And then there's a, a compass. I don't know if you can see right there. We have a tactic, tactic system. tactic system uh, one one is a dual speed and I mean you can put all kinds of things on there we we'll also have a on this side here you can see on the port side a, an attachment for um, autopilot and that works great and um, down below again we have um, GPS and radio. And the GPS is turning on, but this is our chart plotter. I don't know if you can see. But it works too. It's kind of cool to have, um, especially if you do any cruising. Uh, we also have a gimbaled stove that fits here. And you know, take the stove off, but then when you do, you can put the table or on these two um, pintles. The table stores in the bow area, right around the corner. That's the table. It has a nice teak top on it with cup holders, and then the sides fold out. But there's the pintle and gudgeons there that also fits in the cockpit area too. When you're racing, you don't want that in there. And here's the, it's nice to have this little cabinet. Put stuff in. And here's a sink. And then the cooler also. Spinnaker pole, old style, but it has Dyneema. We've had that redone. And, uh, Got a little whisker pole also. Nice black sail cover. And behind the steps, we've got the anchor and um, some dock lines and bumpers back there. We also, I have rewired the boat essentially. This wire goes to the Compass light that never, we've broken it several times, so I just left it. It does have a little light inside that does work. Um, it just doesn't have one that shines up from the bottom. But the anchor has road and chain, about 20 feet of chain. So it's great holding value, but if you race, you can when you want to get, take the chain off. So we do have these side uh, storage pockets on both sides that are nice to have. And uh, we do have a power cord. We just have shore power. And I don't know what else would I you like to see. We do use a uh, LED lights. Can see that at all. 
inside and then as much as I can on the outside there's LED on the bow and at the stern and yeah that's a, our little Skyhawk so here I'll take a deck walk can't find any problems on the deck surveyor other than the crazing of areas that I repair so here is the mast step I removed and it wasn't wet so I just had to put that all back together and I strengthened it up and in front of the mast step in this area um, you can see some of the cracks there it was soft and so I repaired that from the inside and then everything else looked good but you said right up in this peak area that there was some moisture but I suppose that could be fixed from down below or if it's necessary I don't think it's necessary to get fixed as you can see the lines are good shape mostly new nothing's perfect on a sailboat and then right here see a little uh, well, it's hard to see he's at that side well he saw some cracks up here well, if there is it will get those fixed before I bring it bring it down but it's pretty hard to see I don't know what he was seeing I'll have to look Look harder at that. But these are new spin locks on both sides. And uh, everything else is pretty original here. Anyways, there she is. Here's the shore power. Traveler uh, backstay. Got a new, new light at the top of the mast. Anchor light, stuff you don't need for racing, but I was using it for cruising. And then a steaming light and a deck light, also. It's all functional. Alrighty. Well, that's it. For the tour, if you do want some more information or pictures, let me know. Thank you.